Hey guys, I hope you can hear me. Uh, I have to cover my face because I don't have a face mask. And this is my first time being outside in like almost two weeks. So yeah, I wanted to run to Barnes and Nobles really quick because I really want this like deli um, devotional book. So that's why I'm like out. And it's kind of drizzling. The first time I come outside in two weeks, it's like raining. I need to get a face mask. But yeah, at the Barnes and Nobles. I'm sorry if I'm doing this, I don't have a face mask. So yeah, here they are. I gotta look for the one I want. Let's see if I can find it. I was gonna get it offline, but they don't let you see the inside. And it's like, I can't really see like what I'm buying. So decided to just come out. I needed some fresh air anyway, guys, because I was in a house for like literally two weeks straight without like going anywhere. So yeah. Okay guys, after sitting here for like almost 30 minutes, I decided to go with these two books. This one was very appealing, just the color and it's really cute. But I also like, you know, what it says, daily light on a daily path. And I like how it has, you know, I wish the days of the, um, was like written here, like March 7th, March 8th up here, but it's like written down here. I don't know, I'm very particular like that. But I do like this book. I like it. So it has like, um, I think it's 360, no, I don't think this is it. 365 days, is it? Let me see. Yeah, this is 365 days of um, daily devotional readings. So it pretty much gives you like, let's say if you're on day 87, you can see that, if you're on day 87, it gives you like a scripture to read and you have to, all the scriptures that pertains to you know what this paragraph is talking about for you know daily inspiration and um i like i was so torn between these two books they kind of i thought they were the same this one just says you know it's by billy graham and it says hope for each day words of wis wisdom and faith and this one is by um the same person uh wisdom for each day but I'm like, well, this is wisdom and faith. So should I just get this one? But this one has, I'm just like, I don't know. But like when I open them up, they're different. They have different, you know, inspirational paragraphs with um, different scriptures. And, you know, same here. So I was like, hey, why not? Like, this is two years worth of different scriptures right here. And then this one. You know three years worth i mean they all have different for each day if they have the same day like if this one has march 6 and this one has march 6 they both have different readings so so is this one so i decided just to get these three it's gonna cost me about 70 bucks just for these three books because this one is 17 dollars and this one this one is about 25 and this one is 25 as well i didn't plan on spending this much money but I really like these three books. I only plan to get one book. All of these like options, options to choose from. Like, what are you supposed to do? I got a headache. Even here on this side. Let me just go with these three before I confuse myself even more and be even more undecisive. Hey guys, so today I plan to go to the uh, park that um, practice my leg lift for the army. I just found out that we have to um, know how to do leg lifts, but all the parks are closed. I forgot about that. I'm so tight about that, but all my lashes on fell off. I just, I'm falling apart. Can't get my lashes done. So right now we at um, Seven Spice Restaurant, Cajun Seafood Place. Getting some food. You see at the menu? You ain't look at it? No. So just getting some good food to eat. Even though I cooked last night. I just really had a taste for it. 
I already know what I want, but if you want to share one, you want to share a bag of food, we can do that it's probably. And they're really cheap. They're not, they really inexpensive. So like, what you want? Cause I was just gonna get like, if we gonna share one, we can get um a pound, we can get a pound of shrimp, corn, potato, and the boudin balls. Um, yeah. I want fries on the side. Wanna just share that? Let me see real quick. That's what I want. Then we can get Isaac a side of fries. Cause he gonna waste, he gonna waste that food. Loki don't even want seafood. I mean, uh. I mean, if you don't want seafood, I can just get a half a pound just for myself. Yeah, just get what you want. And then I you can get some. I don't think else. I want like all that stuff. I think I just want a little fish and shrimp. I don't even want anything. You don't want no fries, Isaac? Mm -hmm. Don't eat something in the house. Okay. I don't remember that when we go past McDonald's, cause it's right across the street too. Yeah, I'm at McDonald's. Oh yeah, I thought you were gonna eat what's in the house. Guys, so this is what it looks like. Corn, potatoes, and uh, easy peel shrimp. And I got a side of fries. And I got this roach juice. It's like my favorite juice, it's so good. Hey guys, so we out and about today. I'm running a couple of errands. We in fries right now. Craig had to get some stuff for um, his computer piece. Because he's like building a computer. So I decided to come over here and look at the cameras. Every time I come here, I want to look at the cameras. So, where is it? GoPro. Oh, this is like the GoPro. I have a GoPro, but um, these are the newer ones. I think I got the five. Or the three, I'm not sure. What is this one? This is a GoPro 7 for $296? It's not bad at all. The eight is $329. And I only used it a few times, pretty much just for like water activities and stuff. Wow, the cameras are gone, they're empty. I was interested in the, um, the M50. Let's see, these the ADD. These are expensive, but I don't want to like invest this much just yet into a camera. I want to start off with something, you know, a little bit more affordable. Let's see, dang. This is like all they have left over here. These are like lenses and stuff, I think. Oh no, these are like the um, Sony. I was looking, f dang, they all gone. They don't even, I don't even think they have the M50. I'm not seeing it over here. Probably have to go to Best Buy for that. All right guys, so today was an epic fail because uh, Marshalls, Ross, TJ Maxx was closed. So I could have sworn I thought they were gonna still be operating, but like just closing like at an earlier time. But yeah, they were closed, so today was an epic fail. So, only store we really got to go to was um, the Fry's Electronics. So, right now we at the UPS store. Craig had to, um, I think he had to ship something. I'm not quite sure what he had to do in here, but. And then we're gonna just head back home. I gotta take care of a few things with my military packet. And um, yeah, just. Hey guys, so. Back at the house and I'm about to make some fried chicken. I just had a taste for some fried chicken. So I'm gonna whip up some fried chicken. I got the grease over there um, getting hot. And then after that, I'm gonna make some uh, vanilla cake with chocolate sprinkles. So yeah, me and Isaac are gonna make this together.
guys back again looking a hot mess but hey what can you do everything is pretty much closed except for the very important things like the post office um i have to uh send out this uh letter to request my um navy inactive reserve documents um because when you sign your contract when you're enlisted and the minimum is four years but it's te technically it's technically eight years because you have four years active duty and then you have four years inactive reserve meaning that you don't have to like report um once a month and two weeks out of the year unless they call you for like a crisis or a need like they absolutely like need you um they can call you they can pull your name from the database and they can call you in so i never got called in so but for my um i don't know why they're even requesting this but hey i gotta i had to fill out this form called the fs 180 form and i had to fill that out and i had to mail it to to them hoping that they can fax it back to me because i need this and honestly guys this whole pandemic situation has really kind of worked in my favor because not even kind of it has worked in my favor because they told us at the last minute that they needed this paperwork and the board was like march what was it march 24th was it no no it was not march 24th i don't know i forgot the exact date um because so much been going on but it was like the middle of march and they didn't tell us this until like a week like a week before my board date it was no way in the world i would have had this by then it was no way so this worked out in my favor now that my board is like pushed back we don't know when to what date but this really worked out in my favor so god is good he is so good like what's for you is for you and it's gonna work out regardless. I'm gonna go ahead and get some stamps for this and mail this out, cause I don't know when the board is gonna be now. So just in case, I wanna have everything squared away and ready to go, so. It's gonna be $1.95. Oh, that's the stamp, okay, never mind. Yeah. Oh, can I put here? Yeah. Uh, there's a 25 cents charge for anything under $2. That's fine. Okay. 